small spheres of putty A and B of mass M and 3M respectively hang from the ceiling on strings of equal length L. Sphere A is drawn aside so that it is raised to a height H0 as shown above and then released. Sphere A collides with sphere B. They stick together and swing to maximum height H equal to and then we have the choice. So let's go over this problem. But in the end I will show you the super 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 easy way. Alright, let's get started. So this is a problem of potential energy being converted into kinetic energy and back to potential energy. Okay, so let's make a little diagram what we are doing here. So this is the initial situation. We have the two small putties. One is released from rest and it hits the other one that is resting. And then together, while being stuck together, they rise to a certain height. Okay, so this is about conservation of both energy and momentum. So let's use those two laws. So one, conservation of energy. So then we have the potential energy, mgh, not equals one half mv squared. So v naught squared. All right. So let's solve for v. So then v naught equals square root of two g h naught because the masses cancel out. Right? Two conservation of momentum m one v bound plus m two v two equals mass total times the final velocity. So this is for inelastic collisions. And here, remember we have V2 is actually zero. So this problem has then mass times V0 equals the total masses which is M plus 3m times the final velocity. So then we actually have m v naught equals 4m v final. And then the m cancels out. So we have the initial velocity v naught equals 4v final. All right? Okay, let's erase this and move on. Alright, erase. <coughs> dee, 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 dee. Okay, all pretty. Okay, now I have some space to write some more math stuff here. Alright, so what have we got? So why have we not equals for the final? Alright? So then remember that V naught equals two square root of 2GH naught. So we then have like uh, that that is equal to 4 V final. Right? So let's solve for V final. So we have 1 over 4 square root of 2GH naught. Let's put the 4 inside the square root. So we have square root of 2GH. Oops, looks messed there. 2 g h naught and then 4 square is 16 and then a 2 and a 16 cancel to an 8 so we have square root of 2 g 2 uh, <coughs> square root of g h naught over 8 this is the v final right so now we have remember it goes now from kinetic energy to potential energy so now we have one half the total mass v final squared equals to the m total mass times h naught and the m's cancel. I'm going to put the little g in there soon in case you get nervous and saw it, see it's missing. 
So that is equal to one half squared of g h naught over h squared because I'm putting in the v final for the uh, substituting there, we are, right? So that equals h final. And here I'm putting in the little g's, but they are canceling out. So we basically have then that h final equals h naught over 16. But notice that the 16 is actually the total mass squared. And that's how it goes. So I'm erasing here and writing it in big letters that the final height of a situation like this is the original height of the first mass over the total mass squared. And that is only for if the, you have a stationary object that is being hit with. So what took several minutes to solve could have been done in two seconds. And the answer to this question is A. Let's move on and we will do question six. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.